Hey guys, so this video is going to be focused on your core. So this is also the third video of my home series. So you can perform this at home, you can perform it at the gym if you want, really anywhere. So it's a great workout if you're looking to just kind of an any place, anywhere kind of workout. So we are going to hit your upper abs, your lower abs, and your obliques. So we're gonna hit it all through this workout. We are going to perform circuits. So the first circuit is going to be all your upper body workouts and you're going to perform them right after each other. Take a rest and then perform that circuit again two more times for a total of three sets or three rounds. And then the second circuit is going to target your obliques. And then the third circuit is going to target your lower abs. So we're really hitting your whole core here. So it's a really great way to really tighten up and tone your core. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video and here it is. All right, so we're starting the first circuit off with some suitcase crunches. Now these were a little bit difficult to find my balance, but what you wanna do is you wanna sit on your butt and then you wanna lean back slightly and then you just wanna crunch in and it's almost like you're trying to touch your heels or your toes. And then we're going to go immediately into some toe touches. So I put a dumbbell in my hands just so that I can get a little bit of resistance, but I'll lay down on my back, raise my legs, and then I'll really contract my abs and try to touch my toes with the dumbbell. To keep my abs contracted the whole time, I won't come all the way down onto my shoulders. Next up, we have some stability ball pikes. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your feet on a stability ball and you really wanna use your upper abs to pull you in. Keep your arms stationary the whole time. It should really just be your abs pulling the ball in. And if you don't have a stability ball, then just regular crunches will suffice. Now we're on to our second circuit. So this is going to be really focused on your obliques. So we're going to start with some lying cross body touches. So you're going to lay down on your back with your arms above your head and you're just going to bring your arm up to your opposite leg. Really contract your core and you should feel this in your sides. And then we're going straight into some jack knives. So these I just like to lay on my side and I will put my arm out in front of me. You can see that and it just helps to really stabilize me so that I can really get that bend that I'm looking for. So you just want to put your other arm straight above your head and you want to just bend and try to touch your toes. and then immediately we're going to go into Russian twists. Again, I use a dumbbell. This is just for added resistance. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can use a heavy book or you can just do it with just your weight. You're going to be seated and then you're gonna lean back just a little bit. And I do raise my legs. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. But if you can't raise your legs, just keep them on the ground. It's totally fine. Now we're on to the last circuit which will be focused on our lower abs. So we're going to start this circuit off with some leg drops. So you're just going to lay on your back. I do like to put my hands underneath my butt. This just gives me a little bit more support. And then you're just going to slowly lower your legs. The trick here is to not touch your feet on the ground when you go down. So bring your legs down but do not touch the ground and really use those lower abs to pull your legs back up. And then we're going straight into reverse mountain climbers. These can also be called bicycles, whichever works for you. But you're going to stay in that same position on your back and you're just going to alternate bringing your legs in. 
To make it a little bit more difficult, you can see here that I did sit up just a little bit and that just helps keep the core contracted. Moving on to the last exercise. So this is a plank and your plank is such an amazing exercise for just your whole core. You wanna make sure that your core is tight and that your body is staying straight throughout the workouts. And if you wanna make things super difficult, then go until failure. Go at least for 30 seconds, but if you can go longer, then just go until you can't go anymore. I hope that you guys enjoyed this ab sculpting routine and I hope that you can utilize it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when more videos like this come out. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.